Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to talk about three different players. Well, actually four different players. And we are first going to talk about Taglia Fico. So according to Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona have a left back in mind who can compete with Alba in case Firpo will depart this summer. His name is Taglia Fico, who is 27 years old from Ajax. Barcelona have spoken to his representatives on several occasions now. The Argentine is key on a move to Catalonia. So if you guys don't know who Tagliafico is, he is a phenomenal player. And I don't know if you guys have seen him play. He does play with Ajax. And if you guys followed the UEFA Champions League very closely last year, Tagliafico really stood out in that tournament, especially for Ajax. And every time I do see this player, he always looks like he's determined to win. And he is a complete monster when defending. And the attackers, they feel that. They feel when Tagliafico is near them, you can feel his presence and that is something that our defense our backline needs to reignite our defense and just to give you guys a better idea on what type of energy this player brings let's go back to 2006 through 2011 we had a defender named Carlos Puyol and every time he defended he defended very well every time he wins the ball or he kicks the ball out he screams at the players to do better right after he tells them to stay on your toes get in position and that is what Tagliafico likes to do he's very intense and he has that passion in his heart just like Puyol now I'm not saying that Tagliafico is as good as Puyol but that passion they're at the same level and I love that I want a player like that at FC Barcelona now his reported fee is estimated to be around 30 million euros through 34 million euros and if this player does come to FC Barcelona he will be no stranger to the squad because he has already played against De Jong and he has worked with Lionel Messi in Argentina and then potentially he might work with Lautaro Martinez if he comes in the summer but here's my only problem right when we talk about getting a new left back the only problem is that Firpo is still in that team and Firpo has expressed his desire to improve at FC Barcelona and we could talk about Alba but we're going to talk about Firpo since this article is talking about Firpo and to replace Firpo and Firpo was in an interview last week at, I believe it was on April 10th he did explain his determination to improve and this is what he he said i really want to go back to training and play i want to show i am the player that i really am and for the reason why i signed which has not yet been shown and so knowing that right knowing that firpo wants to stay and he wants to improve and he wants to show barcelona why barcelona signed firpo how is tagliafico going to fit because we can't have three left backs three left backs that are that are expected to start in the starting 11 and let's say we do trade off tagliafico for whoever who is that player going to be because i don't see Tagliafico being trade off with Alba and it's going to be hard to see Tagliafico be switched with Firpo and knowing that Firpo is still young and we just signed him and we know that he still needs to adapt it's going to be very hard for Barcelona to do that type of move but then again if we switch Tagliafico with Alba we will have two left backs who will be in their adaption period so it's going to be very hard and I know that Barcelona don't want to put themselves in a position where Firpo will be in his adaption phase and Tagliafico will be in his adaption phase. We will need a left back who has already experienced and has played with Barcelona for more than like two to three seasons. But the only thing that Tagliafico will have as the upper hand will be his experience on playing in the UCL. So maybe it might not take Tagliafico a long time to adapt to FC Barcelona because he has already played at a high level. He knows what it takes to be in a final of a UCL. So there's a lot of questions. Do I want to see Tagliafico in a Barcelona? on a shirt yes i do but a lot of questions need to be answered before tagliafico can make that move to fc barcelona now moving on to the next topic of the day and we're going to talk about two youngsters from fc barcelona which is pedri and ricky push so according to estadio deportivo real betis have probed barcelona for the possibility of signing youngster pedri and ricky push on loan when we do talk about real betis right real betis is just like dortmund they are responsible for taking care of of our academy players to further their development and so let's start with Pedri right let's talk about this player for a second he is a young player and there is a lot to look forward to when it comes to talking about Pedri and he is turning
turning 18 years old this year and the reason why i'm saying his age is because he is so young that there is no way this move to real betis is going to hurt him because even if he gets the chance to play with a lot of first team footballers who are at a higher level in the league that's going to be a big step for pedri and just to capitalize off that real betis is a club just like dortmund who love to use their youngsters and are not afraid to put their young players on the field a great case that we can talk about here is diego Linus, who is slowly becoming one of real betis most promising players and pedri which is our academy player could be next so it would be a very very good move for a player like pedri to go to real betis now i don't know the full contract details yet this is just a report we don't know if we are going to hear further details about this move but there is no contract details we don't know how long the loan is going to be we don't know if there's going to be like a mandatory buyout option or a, like a mandatory buyback option we don't know anything about that yet but pedri going to real betis will be a good move because he will gain the experience now i want to talk about ricky Puj. so this is where things get a little bit serious this is what's really going to determine his future and look first of all if ricky Puj goes to real betis by next season it's going to be very disheartening to see because we have kept telling ricky Puj that he will eventually get his chance at fc barcelona and those words were coming from valverde's mouth it was coming from kike setien's mouth even the players were saying that ricky Puj will eventually get his chance because he is good enough and after all that if ricky Puj ends up going to real betis that's going to that is going to destroy ricky Puj. and at 19 years old knowing that you're turning 20 years old very soon if ricky Puj moves to real betis i believe that he's going to stay there for a while because he has simply been treated badly by fc barcelona and ricky Puj has been desperate to play in a full season where he gets to be in first team football and when real betis comes calling i believe ricky Puj will not hesitate on taking that opportunity so does this make ricky Puj a bad player no it doesn't but he is just not what barcelona needs and barcelona are very well aware that in this summer when they do let go of rakitic and arturo vidal you lose a lot of physicality and barcelona will know their decrease of the physicality level in their midfield and barcelona will want to refill those roles and that is why we are hearing reports on barcelona looking for a player who has legs right like kante a player that we have talked about before and so barcelona is looking for a midfielder like that and ricky Puj is a player that does not provide those type of qualities and so the best solution i could give ricky Puj right now is that barcelona should give ricky Puj another preseason just to see what he can provide for the team because you never know maybe he might change his playing style maybe he might work more on his physicality provide more energy in the midfield because right now ricky Puj does not provide that so let me know what you guys think do you guys think that ricky Puj should move to real betis or should he be given one more preseason with fc barcelona now moving on to the last topic of the day and this is a quick topic we're not gonna be on this for a long time so i do want to address a rumor that was floating around and it is about Lautaro Martinez. So according to Marca, Lautaro Martinez has told Barcelona that he wants to join the club and the Argentine is willing to force his departure. So like I said before, this report has been making a lot of noise and people were questioning like, would Martinez actually do such a thing? Because every time when we do hear a player wanting to force his move away from a club that makes the player look kind of messy and that makes the club look like they're not treating the player well. And there's a lot of friction that builds up on top of that but that is what i'm here to address i don't believe martinez is trying to force a move away from inter milan and the reason why i'm saying that is because not too long ago about two weeks ago his agent did talk about how martinez is dealing with all these rumors and these reports and what he thinks about barcelona and real madrid wanting him and this is what he said he never calls me to ask if the rumors are true he's focused on where he is and his work so there you go martinez is not interested in a move away from Inter Milan right now because they are still in a season that's if the season continues and so we don't know what Martinez is actually thinking in his head but at the moment he's not giving out signs that he wants to leave Inter 
Milan. So if you do hear any reports about Martinez wanting to leave Inter Milan, forcing his way out or any of that, right? It's not true. Martinez is a professional footballer and he is loved by the fans. And as a professional footballer, you don't want to ruin that. So that is it for today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.